Hi guys, that's me back again with some awesome tutorial. I'm Dorota Palicka, international meal artist and educator, and I will show you how to do those beautiful meals with some 3D acrylic flowers. Have a preview of that in here. I'm actually excited to get them done because obviously it is a my set of the meals. I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, let me know in the comments below as I'm really looking forward to reading them all out so you can share your ideas of what else you would like to see on this channel. I'm really happy to produce that for you. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future tutorials. So let's start. I cannot wait to show you what a pretty meals we are going to do today. So dehydrate the meal before we start giving a couple scratches to it just so we don't bring any oils in, especially that I have applied cuticle oil already on those ones. There is a tutorial on them as well, uh, but uh, today we are going to do those pretty designs. So file uh, the natural meal to make sure there is no shiny surface left. Shorten the free edge. Remove the dust, dehydrate with the blue scrap, so nicely dehydrate that, and then grab the sculpting form. Obviously you can do it on the tips as well. I do love sculpted nails on myself, like they just fit in my nails perfect uh, and they always look awesome. So I'm going to trim this form just so it fits my thumb. And this is funny guys, but usually, I don't know why, I do my thumbs a tiny bit shorter than the rest of the nails, but sh that's the secret. Uh, I, I do them, yes, I do them a tiny bit shorter on myself, especially when I'm going for a really long uh, nails, maybe because we do go on the bikes as well, like, and I want to have it uh, comfy uh, life. So I have trimmed the form just because for my thumb I do really need to trim it like so wide so it's it's gonna fit my uh, my thumb and then I can pre-pinch it in between my fingers, close it even a tiny bit more for hyponychium. and then slide it in. Obviously on the uh, each nail my form will go slightly different. There isn't a thing like you cut all the forms exactly the same. Uh, so I'm just applying this form in here nice and straight, then close it. Watch it because when we squeeze the form, the thumb is the strongest finger. So if I would squeeze like this, this side will be over, over squeezed. Uh, so I'm playing from uh, different angles. Uh, just so they are kind of both sides equal. Extra nail prep, which is a nail dehydrator, because during the form application we do tend to touch the things. There we are. Wait for it to dry and then universal air bond. So universal air bond. Nice and decent amount. Wait for it to dry. It's dry on the air. It's called universal air bond. And then sculpting gel. We are going to use the perfect gloss. It looks awesome with the uh, with the white French, like absolutely stunning. So once the universal air bond dries a little bit, 
we will be able to uh, build our nails. Okay, pick up the scoop of the product, remove the excess of it, then go to the one side, go very close to the cuticle, do other side, like make sure you've got it everywhere, and then pick up another scoop so we can um, build up our free edge, the extension. all the way down to the letter L. Oh, maybe that's too long. What I love about the forms as well, they've got those lines. So if you do follow those lines, the things are really easy. Like the lines, you can see them there. The I definitely made it a little bit too long, so we can just remove the excess of the product with the brush if you want to have less filing. You can just go and do like this. And then let's cook it. So I'm going to cure this nail for 30 seconds. And then we will be able to pinch it. So I've got my pinching clamps in here. Clean my brush in between. So I, I don't like to wait like and don't do anything. So I'm always doing something. <laughs> I would clean my brush, get it into the nice point again, just so it's easier later on to build it. That's a 30 seconds gone. Check it. And then pinch it. So this gel, oh, my pinching clamp can go to bin. Uh, this gel cures in fair, uh, 60 seconds. That's why I'm curing half of the time, so I'm able to pinch it. Let's cure it another 30 seconds. Okay, just a couple seconds longer. So in the meantime, I'm already going to open up back my gel again. No, Dorota, if you want to open the gel, you need to go into the left side. No, cameraman, I need you. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Okay, that's my nail ready for the apex. So with the pinching, everything looks much prettier. Well, let's pick up the scoop of the product again. Again, very thin layer. And go everywhere. Like we make sure we've got the product everywhere. Nice and thin. And those two thin layers, I don't want any more product around my cuticle area. Honestly, guys, like I want to keep it so nice and thin. That's when the nails grow. You don't see the growth as much. And then pick up a really large scoop because it's a thumb. So look what the huge scoop of the product I've got. And we are going to build up the apex. Release it from your brush. And then... Build it up, go all the way down to the free edge. Remove the excess of the product and just help it to go to the sides. That's my nail finished, almost. Look how nice and clean it is from the top. That's the side view. This all is going to be filed. Let's cook it. So I'm going to cure it now another 30 seconds and then we pinch it again. Remember, guys, when you're building up your apex, like uh, leave it. Like some, uh, if you see it, that the product is getting out of the control, just leave it because you can always take it out from the lamp and add any places you think you're missing. So I might add just like a tiniest drop in there. Probably once I would file the excess of the product from the apex area, it would smooth out nice. But I'm just going to touch it up this corner with the product, like the tiniest drop ever. Mm. and that's enough like I really usually add too much product anyway and then I file it uh, so freeze this product which I have added clean the brush put it on the side so it doesn't get dirty pinching clamp so pull the forms down 
You can see how thin the side walls are, so they are very easy to file. And then apply the pinching clamp from underneath, so now we are squeezing the free edge. Let's cook it, the final cure. This gel cures in 60 seconds, so we need to cook it another 30 seconds. I usually cure it 60 seconds uh, after all that pinching, just to make sure they are going to last me really uh, good and long time. UV cleanser, and then let's wait for them to be cooked. Okay, that's it all cooked. Nice pinch. <coughs> <laughs> I can't twist my thumb that way. Oh, there we are. There, there we are. Baby wipes, so I'm not going to make a huge mess in here. And then we are going to shape it. So I'm filing the side walls first. Coffin shape, yeah? Shorten the free edge. And that's already look quite okay. Then blend around the cuticle area. And that's where I say I probably got, didn't have to add even that corner because I had plenty product there uh, after filing the excess from the apex. Okay, I, I do really like to file it this way as well to make sure they are all and um, the lower arches are at the same height. Then I check them like from underneath at this angle. They are all nice. Uh, let's make it a bit slimmer. Okay, that's me very happy with this, um, uh, this nail. I need to just smooth it out from the top. Okay, so now I'm just filing those motion all over. And it will look all nice and pretty once we finish it. That was good guess for the lunch. <laughs> okay, I'm happy, like, just stop it. Check the hair view, uh, hairline view. <clears throat> That's where your C-carve is like, because we are going to paint the French manicure. You want to make sure it is really nice and clean uh, on that part. Use the buffer. And look how nice, um, like we cannot see where the product is starting when we when we blending it really beautifully around the cuticle area. And then when it's grows, you cannot see the growth. That's why I love using this technique. And this is absolutely perfect thickness around the cuticle area. You want your bulk of the product in there. Okay, smooth everything out. Perfect the shape. Check the hairline view. Couple more scratches and then that's it ready for a French manicure. Clean the dust, 
blue scrap and then let's paint the French. So we are going to use the Angular gel brush and the paint French. Clean the brush from the fluff. Oh gosh, which way? This way. Remove the excess of the product. Go where your free edge finish, like starts where is your free edge of the natural nail. Do a V shape. Go and do it the same on the other side. So it starts in there. So remove the excess. Because in the corners you wanted it to be so nice and slim. V shape. And now we need to join everything in. Push it to the smile line. And then correct it. I love it when they so deep. I think they look the nicer. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing it same way like you would paint the gel polish really on the nails, then smooth it out the French, very little pressure on it. Clean my fingers and let's cook it. If you usually I do all five fingers at the same time because the gel would uh, self level a little bit so you don't get those shadows. If you have no time for it to self level, I will just brush on a little bit more and then cook it. Okay, then close the products and apply the top coat. Now we don't have to put necessarily top coat, you could do it two ways. So the first way would be to uh, take the uh, flowers and just put them in and then apply the top coat. I want to put the top coat because I'm fussy about my French and I will give it a gentle uh, buff to it as well. Okay, so I'm just applying the top coat over it. This is if you want to have a perfect, perfect French, like, like perfect French. If you want to have a nice French, you wouldn't bother about this step. So I will show you what what I am after. So you can see it uh, on the place where we've got the French. Let me show you with this one. You can see it, cameraman, don't you? It's not straight line. It's not straight line. This is called really extreme fussiness. It looks nice. I mean, it's beautiful. Um, but because we have applied as French, if I give an extra buff to it, the line is going to be straight and it's not going to break in it there. Uh, and then I will have my perfect French nails. <laughs> so let's cook it. Um, and then um, and then we can move on into the next steps. Obviously, yes, you can do it the way you want it. Uh, just slap on um, those flowers and it's straight away. I don't want that because they are my nails. And with my nails, I am the most fussy person ever. <laughs> Okay, they are ready to be buffed, so I'm just going to quickly take a buffer and give it a couple scratches to it. As I say, you don't have to do that step. Uh, I just really want them to be perfect. It 
doesn't take really as, as long. Um, I don't do it always, but I mean, I think this French is so pretty that it is worth to do it. And I've got those flowers and actually I've got dilemma. Do I want white and gold or white and silver? I think I will go with white and, white and silver. Um, I'm just going to put them into the... Into there so it's easier. And then we are going to use the base gel to apply them in. I actually am looking forward to seeing the finished results. So a drop of the base gel and then let's decorate it. They're so, so pretty. Wow, they're amazing. I love them already. Okay, another drop of the base gel. And then I'm picking up those caviar beads. This looks so pretty. <laughs> and um, doing so with my left hand would be extremely difficult like to, um, to do the acrylic flowers. And I love how those flowers look. Like absolutely amazing. And you know what is good guys? They do have really flat back, which means they are going to uh, stick in really nice into the nails. They really do. Amazing. Ah! <laughs> I'm in love with this set. You can really get them like close to each other. I think this is so cool as well. That's so pretty. I'm going to freeze it. So just a couple seconds cure. And then add more into it. Oh wow, I love them. <laughs> I think this is a the most pretty set of the nails I did this year because I did really took a time with it and I love it like it's so nice. I 
again freeze it. Okay, also let's grab some other caviar beads. Oh, wow. <laughs> I am really excited about this set. Because I'm going to also add some single caviar beads in there. Actually, I'm going to do it only those tiny ones. <laughs> they are taking <laughs> they not behaving today that's better I do really love that set, it's so pretty. Yeah, those, caviar, those single caviar bits looks really, really nice. Okay, let's freeze them. Gosh, they look like so, uh, the most pretty wedding set of the nails. Here, since I know the combination, like uh, I can straight away apply more of the flowers. Um, you know, sometimes it is safe to kind of uh, keep adding on because you don't know um, how you want to place the flowers or how you want to place your crystal. Uh, crystals and once you do a little bit then it is easier to decide uh, since I have done it um, the separate ones now I know what I want so I want four flowers there they are and I can just move them about they go one close to another And then let's freeze it. And then the caviar beads. I love this set so much. You could also place the smaller ones inside the the tiny flowers. I quite like those bigger ones in there and then the tiny ones around it. Uh, try to don't cover the smile line for this set. I think it's uh, it looks pretty nice when we've got the smile line.
And when we will be working with the top coat, I will have to use the small brush to go around the flowers. Um, I don't want to do it with the full top coat brush because it will be too, too messy. Okay, let's cook it and then the top coat. So uh, I'm going to place a little bit of top coat on the side. Clean my brush from the base gel and then apply this top coat. Use a proper brush. I have cleaned the brush from the previous products because usually I leave a tiny bit of product on my brush just to keep it in shape. And now pick the top coat there. I do really love that set. What else does top coat does is, is going to protect our flowers so they are not catchy. Uh, if you want, you could even put a tiny bit of the base gel uh, around it to flatten the look. So um, usually I find that things last much better if we've got the base around it as well, uh, not only to stick at it. And okay, so top coat all the way around it and now I can just pick up the top coat from the brush and apply it in. Make sure there is no dust particles. I love them. I love them so much and I don't know why I didn't. Actually, I was thinking about it and I didn't have French on my nails done by myself on both hands. You know, I had one hand, but I have never ever done it on my left hand and I'm actually wondering guys if you would like to see me doing a first time ever French with my left hand on my right hand. Oh, I love them, they are so pretty. Oh my goodness, they are really pretty. I love them so much. Let's freeze it so the top coat doesn't run. Do the thumb and let me know if you would like to see it. Uh, me struggling painting a French with my left hand. I think that might be actually a pretty interesting video. Uh, as I say, I have never done it. I have never done it uh, the entire of my life. Unbelievable. Because I was always too scared uh, that it is not going to be nice. Um, and yeah, I never had French on both of my hands. Uh, dust go away. Sorry. So, yeah, I love them. Let's like I, I do really love them. <laughs> they are so amazing, guys. The flowers you can get it from our website as well, which is www.dorataparitska.com, and I think they are absolutely fantastic. Like, they are really beautiful, and that's the finished results. Uh, uh, of the nails which we have created today. I hope guys you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial. You have learned something new as well. 
and uh, hit the share button for me pretty pretty please because uh, i think this is amazing set of the news and it's worth your share so the others can see it as well bye sending you lots of glittery hugs